And you, I don't want any more of this nonsense, do you understand? For God's sake, stay the hell away from that tape woman! Detective O'Keefe? Yeah, what can I do for you? I want you to help me find a killer. I hired to look at the Bobby's car crash. Yeah? He wound up dead. No way. Yeah. It's starting to sound like your theory was right all along. Yeah, only no one wants to believe it. Least of all my father. And now that I know they were both taking Namusol, it's like... Taking what? Patterson and Ann were taking this drug called Namusol for high blood pressure. Wait, is that supposed to mean something? Well, aside from the sheer coincidence, I did some checking. It turns out if you take high enough doses of this stuff, it makes you stagger, you lose your balance, make it look like they both fell and accidentally drowned. It's pretty heavy. I mean, who do you think would do something like that? I don't know, somebody diabolical. Somebody who wanted to make sure they wouldn't talk, ever. Well, I guess I could call you crazy, too, if... If what? Well, if I didn't think this all pointed straight at Macy. Well, at least somebody else is on my wavelength. Now I'm thinking whatever Bobby had on Macy, he told Anne. And Patterson was going to find out, too. Well, did he ever say anything? No, the only thing he said to me was that all of this was going to be a lot bigger than we first thought. So what are you going to do? Keep both eyes glued to Macy. You can count on me. I'm with you 110%. No, I'm on my way to the office. I'll have to stop and check on the next shipment later. Yeah, I think this could be the swan song. <clears throat> uh-huh. Hey, we'll pick up the slack somewhere else. Besides, we got enough product to last at least another three months, so just chill out, man, will you? Yeah. Okay, man. Later. You're that reporter from The Sun, Miami Sun, right, Crystal? Tate. Tate, right. My father told me about you. Oh, I can just imagine what he said. I am a reporter, and I'm here for a story. Well, unfortunately, Miss Tate, I only deal with evidence and fact, not rumors and fabrication, which, if you'll forgive me, is what The Miami Sun is all about, right? What I'm all about is finding out why people close to Martin Devon keep ending up dead and all of them under curiously mysterious circumstances. Do you have a point, Miss Tate? Because I've got a really serious caseload here today. Yeah, I do. I think that someone is setting up Martin Devon for a fall. Somebody who wants him to go down the hard way. Well, do you have anyone in mind? Maybe. So are we going to compare notes, or are you just going to let a killer walk? Did 
Chody. Chody. Don't even pretend you're gonna ignore me. What, are you and I supposed to pretend that nothing happened? I think you're making too big of a deal of this. <laughs> you're right. I mean, I lose best friends all the time. No biggie. Jody, I've been thinking about all of this. And I haven't? I didn't say that, okay? I know how you feel, but I've been trying to imagine what Kayla's been going through right now. Excuse me? Yeah. All right, so she lied to both of us. But Jody, I mean, she's a, she's a prostitute, all right? Think about what that must have been like for her. Well, she could have told me what it was like for her, but she didn't. Oh, like we would have understood. I would have. Who are you kidding? It's not like she said she was a, an orphan. Dylan, say whatever you want. It's not gonna change what she did. If you were her mother, I would agree with you. But you're her friend. And I'm thinking right about now, like it or not, that she could probably use one. You know, she cut school today. Yeah, so? So, I'm going over to her place, and I want you to come with me. I'm sorry, Dylan, I, I can't. I, I just can't. Denise, call the limo. I'm just gonna change and then I'll be ready to go to the airport. Okay, we can stay here all day trading insults or we can get down to some serious shop talk. All right, Miss Tate. I'll bite. What have you got? Okay. I think that these deaths connected to some things that happened 25 years ago. Oh, here you go, giving me X-Files when I'm asking for facts. I'm sorry, Miss Tate, but I deal with evidence, not gossip. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some real cases to solve here today. Fine. Just take a good look at this photo and do some homework on it, like I did, and tell me that none of it's related. Okay, sure, I'll do that. Oof. I gotta take off. Um, well, it's been interesting, and uh, you take care of yourself, okay? Thanks. Thanks a lot. Hey, where the hell are you? Look, you're scaring me, all right? So do me a favor and give me a call back. Oh, hey, and don't forget to take your meds, okay? Call me. Yo, hey, Macy, just on my way to come and see you. Yeah. Hey, listen, did you uh, have a chance to take care of that little item? That yeah, about? actually, I did. Yeah. Luckily, I missed it in the locker at the agency. Mm. OK. Thanks. Kayla? Come on, open up. Kayla, I know you're in there. Please, open the door. Kayla, open. What do you want, Dylan? Did you come all this way just to lecture me? I just want to talk to you. 
Just go away. Hey, just give me five minutes. Why should I? Actually, you probably shouldn't. I'll give you 60 seconds. All right. I guess I deserve that. I guess you've been doing some, some decorating, huh? Is this funny to you? Just say what you have to say and get out. All right. I want you to quit. Excuse me? I want you to quit your... your job. Who the hell do you think you are? Huh? Who the hell do you think you are? I never asked your permission, okay? I never wanted your help. All I wanted was your friendship. And you couldn't even give me that. No, you were too busy judging me. Like you're the Mr. Perfect everybody always says you are. Well, I don't need you, Dylan. I don't need anybody. Now get out. Get out! Hey! Hey! How's the job going? Oh, it's, um... Uh... Fine. Just fine? Come on, I expected a little more enthusiasm out of you. Well, it's just a showroom. It's not like being a real model. Yeah, well, the showroom's the beginning. Yeah, it beats the real room. You know, I've just, just been distracted and stuff, so. Yeah, I know all that about your dad was really rough on you. Well, he was alive all this time and nobody told me. How could they do that? Well, I guess they had their reasons. But I know it kind of lets the steam out, huh? Does. I just keep getting lied to. First my mother, now Charlotte. I'm just, oh, I'm just sick and tired of the whole thing. Well, maybe you should just try to put it all behind you, you know? Readjust your focus. Yeah, I know. That's exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> Great. Where are you off to? I don't know. I just, I need to empty my head. So I think I'll just go home, have the shower, change. I don't know, get into the beach. I need to think things out. Well, if you need a shoulder to cry on, as they say, you know? That's nice. Thank you. I might take you up on that one. Great. Bye. All right, see you. This vendetta you have against Martin has gone far enough. Do you have any idea what you could unleash here? So this guy leaves you out to dry, and here you are again trying to cover his tracks, huh? Is this deja vu or what? Let it go, Jamie, before we're all sorry. Or are you forgetting? What happened that night? I think that you're the one that's forgetting how history tends to repeat itself.
mamma. Du såg ut som du behövde lite sällskap. Nej, försvinn. Du är inte verklig. För dig är det. Jag hoppas att det alltid kommer vara det. Varför då? För du ska kunna komma tillbaka och påminna mig hur misslyckad jag är. Nej. Jag tycker inte att vi är misslyckade. Kanske lite självupptagen. Och det säger du nu. Som att jag var tvungen att vänta tills du dog för att kunna få ditt stöd. Hur sjukt är inte det? <laughs> Ganska sjukt. I alla fall det. det är inte så enkelt. Ingenting som är viktigt är enkelt. What's wrong, okay? I admit it, but please, don't be an idiot like I was. So I should just quit because you say so. <laughs> okay, no problem. But what the hell am I gonna do then, huh? Where am I gonna go? In case you didn't get the message, I'm on my own. You don't have to be. <laughs> Who the hell do you think you are, huh? You're not my father, and you're not my boyfriend. No, I'm not. I'm just your friend. weather. We're sitting on the ground in Kennedy for over an hour. It's so good to see you again, Martin. It's good to see you. Hey, Jazz. I want you out of Martin's life. You got that? Take the money or you will be so sorry. What, is that another threat? <laughs> Oof, bitch! up everything that happened that night. Crystal Tate! I understand you're confused. Hey, you! Hey, don't hang up! I, I, I got, I've got all the pieces to the puzzle. I just don't know how to put it together and I need help, okay? Um, Okay, I think there's a connection between the deaths of, of Anne and Stefan and Patterson. Forget them. I told you, focus on the picture. That's where the answers are. Concentrate on the woman in the red scarf. She's the key. Hey, wait! Got your message. I got here as soon as I could. Have you heard anything yet? No, Dr. Jasper hasn't come out yet, but... 
So have you made a determination of Anne's death? Yes, we have. such an ass for telling you to quit, huh? Because! Because what? Because I'm too scared to quit, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're Gabby's fiance. I'm sorry. Hi. Uh, well, the thing is, I'm not sure when she'll be back. Well, actually, she's with uh, Lucas Devon. Pop, do you really want to find out who killed Anne or settle some score with Martin Devon? 